won't hurt you. Don't stop unless you're told to do so. There's a bounty on you. Get that cleared as soon as possible. Besides, a bad place for tourists these days. Barbarians come down. Looking to get zoned? Yeah? Well, if I had a credit for every time I heard that line, I wouldn't be stuck working in this place. So, I'm guessing you're the rook that Delgado sent. Well, let me save both of us some time. Turn around, fly back to the key, and tell the big boss that I'm in no mood to screw around. We'll make this deal when he starts taking me seriously. Come on, give me a break. You're not exactly a top dog over there at the key, now are you? Sending me a rook to handle a job this risky is a goddamn insult. Are you serious? You're just gonna completely blow me off like that. I spent the last three months setting up this job, burned two contacts and a hell of a lot of credits. The whole time, I'm also keeping Bayou off our backs. That idiot even catches a whiff of money and he latches onto you like a damn leech. Benjamin goddamn Bayou is worse than the Crimson Fleet. I'm not even joking. Yep, just like a couple of Model A's. Program us, point us in the right direction, and watch us go. I don't have a ton of time to stand here and screw around, so I'm gonna make this as clear as possible. You want the conduction grid tech, then you're gonna have to download it from the power core of Jennerdyne's facility in the underbelly. Love the confidence. But before you pull the ripcord, I'm afraid I need to add a bit of a wrinkle. While you're inside Jennerdyne, I need you to plant a virus into their system. It's a simple side job that'll earn you some credits. I think you can handle it. Well, well, look at you. You're smarter than I thought. Jennerdyne has all sorts of tasty, valuable snacks in their databanks, and I want access. Here, take this micro drive and access the computer in Brayson Bayou's office. It'll do the rest on its own. Oh no, are you scared, little rabbit? Well, don't worry, I've got you covered. Jennerdyne's got their place locked down tight. As usual, the weak link comes from the people that work there. I recommend you start with Ayumi Komiko, an upper-level exec at Jennerdyne. Get your hands on her security pass, and you'll have the run of the place.
Ryujin Cloud doesn't mean shit at Jennerdine. So you're gonna have to deal with Komiko and potentially her boyfriend, Benjamin Bayou. Anyway, you can find Komiko at Euphorica. Talk to the owner of the place, Micah. She'll point you in the right direction. As for dealing with Komiko herself, she's got an office in the Trade Tower if you're looking for something incriminating. The rest is up to you, Rook. When you're done, come meet me at the VIP booth in the Astral Lounge so we can celebrate. Not much to tell, really. Thanks to their nifty little conduction grid, they're able to provide power for the entirety of Neon. Damn thing was supposed to be some kind of miracle invention, turning lightning into usable electricity. Neat trick, right? Only catch is that you need a planet like Voli, where lightning strikes often enough to make it feasible. Guess how many of those exist? Ding! If you said zero, you're absolutely correct. So Jennerdine has been in dire financial straits for years. You're not the only one. The only reason they haven't folded is because they charge exorbitant fees for power. I'm talking two or three times what it costs in New Atlantis. Okay, now, on to round two of our little game. Guess who has a major stake in Jennerdine and soaks up all that delicious profit? That's a good one, Rook. No, it's not Jennerdine's shareholders. It's good old Benny Bayou. That son of a bitch has a finger in every single pie in the sorry excuse for a city. Jennerdine's no different. All off the books, of course. How the hell do you think Brayson Bayou got the job down there? It wasn't because of his good looks or smarts. I can promise you that. Nepotism gets him the job at Jennerdine as their chief technician, yet the guy doesn't know the first thing about electrical engineering. They obviously invented the position just to give them more on a salary. One of the many poorly kept secrets in Neon. Frankly, I think he's such a screw up. Benjamin Bayou stuck his ass in that facility under the city to keep him out of the limelight. Businesswoman, tough as whole plating. She's the COO at Jennerdine, and I can assure you she didn't get there with her winning smile. As for her relationships, well, that's a bit more complicated. Publicly, she's having a bit of a fling with Benjamin Bayou, but rumor has it that she's just using Bayou and having a little bit of fun on the side with Micah, the owner of Euphorica. If I were you, I wouldn't bother trying to appeal to her good nature. She's a manipulative person who uses people to get what she wants. Pretty laid back club over in Ebside. Owner's name is Maiko. She's young, but sharp as a razor and has gang muscle to back her up. The little Aurora land she has tucked away in the building is the real gold mine. Said she modeled it after opium dens on old earth. Bayou takes a cut of the profits, of course. The rumor says it's way less than he usually takes. No one knows why. Watch your step. Benjamin Bayou has eyes everywhere. 